Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking, Paul Scully is my name. You're very welcome aboard our flight from uh, Dublin to London Heathrow. The podcast is obviously within the, the theme of waiting. Waiting being something that you put you know, value on or, or something becomes more valuable if you've waited or stuff like that. And have we lost the value? And have we lost yeah. the, the value? Does it, does it lose value if you get it immediately? And so we've interviewed senior citizens and much younger citizens, uh, teenagers, and uh, trying to show a kind of a contrast between the two understandings of waiting and how it's changed. The reason why we went for very young people and older people is because of um, the difference in technology, you know, the, the technologies they experience was, was going to, you know, uh, define their experiences on waiting too. The older people would have waited months for letters from family members who have emigrated, you know, so did that letter mean more to them than the click of a button to an email that we would have now? We came across Jonathan who was interested in kind of modern cities and how technology makes things quite immediate and what that has done to people and, you know, I mean, what has it changed about people? Hello, John. Hi. Uh, hi, I'm Jonathan Reeds. I'm the lecturer in quantitative human geography here at King's College London, and that means that I work with what's called big data. So my partners, organizations like Transport for London and telephone companies, and I look at how we can use these new technologies to understand how people are using space, the space of the city, traveling between cities, communicating with one another, and trying to build up the, the sort of the big picture of our habits as a society from the little picture of our everyday habits as individuals. Jonathan, because he works with smart cities and it's about that modern day uh, idea of waiting, how we don't like it and we want instant gratification. Have we lost the, the, the ability to wait? Have we lost the tools to wait and to wait um, in a positive tone, I suppose, and as there's something negative. Well, you never know who you're going to meet. You never know what stage you're going to get, so it's worth waiting for people to come over to you. The way we respond to waiting varies a lot with the person. It's also, I think, changing as technology becomes more embedded in our lives. We have a laptop, a mobile phone, a tablet. We have all these separate devices. You know, if you've got just a sliver of, you know, unproductive downtime, there's this temptation to say, oh, well, you know, let's see what's happening on Facebook or let's send out that work email that I meant to send. Whether that's a good thing or not is something I don't know, and I think that's where, for instance, the arts has a lot to say. What we found interesting was all the amount of waiting we experienced when we are coming over to do the podcast. Recording our journey from Dublin to London, we knew that we were going to face many little waits, banal waits for the train, for the tube, for the taxi, whatever it is that could serve as a bed for these more kind of profound takes on waiting. At the end we finally arrive at the studio but whereas the whole experience of waiting for us to arrive to make this, the podcast is what is important yeah. uh, in, in the waiting for it to start so it's kind of like the, the same thing is happening within the form itself as well. Right, here we go. So let's get started.